So now in this video, we're gonna look at a uh, hand crank generator that I got. So, a couple things. First off, these wires are mine. They did not come with the uh, generator there. I had them already. I crimped on these uh, blade connectors right there. And there's also the uh, female uh, version, but I'm just gonna clip alligator clips to them. So we have that, plus we have the USB. We'll look at that coming up. And there's a, a long handle on there. It's actually pretty easy to turn. The other thing, so it also screws on. We got a screw and then a nut right there to uh, hold it on. This is just hand tight right now. And so I don't have a steady uh, work spot here. So you're gonna see it wiggle a bit. It's just kind of an improvised workspace. And so I'm actually gonna hold this in the air. So we're not gonna get all the power that we can get out of it but we can still get some good readings and I tried to get a couple try a different couple areas where it was stable and just the lighting was too bad and whatnot there's noises and stuff I didn't want to deal with so we're just going to go with a not so perfect test so to begin with voltage now I haven't read any manuals or anything and I didn't read the uh, site too carefully but this uh, side here will output the voltage that we set this one looks like it outputs whatever voltage this thing can generate which looks like about 24 volts so I'll probably do that later but right now I have it set to the 5 volt setting and I'll say that the USB output outputs the voltage you have set there we'll look at that later but that's something to remind you you can see the numbers written there so I think that's a pretty good warning right there and uh, there should also be written you know be aware the output voltage is what you set for the USB but uh, you know this is what it is I still think it's uh, worth it so it cost about thirty dollars and they claim it's a 20 watt so there you can see 5.25 and it looks like it's regulating the voltage pretty well we're just gonna jump to a 15 right there that is the end and 15 so I don't know if you can tell how loud it is usually the camera makes these noises more obnoxious than they already are but you could carry on a conversation with this cranking you know so it's not dead quiet or anything but it's kind of like the volume of maybe a low power drill now we're gonna go to current and so you can get more current it's gonna be in the amp range so for this meter I gotta move this over to the 10 amp spot. So 10 amps or less. Still, you shouldn't be pumping current through a meter for long periods of time. But uh, for short periods of time, we can measure 10 amps, no problem. And again, I'll be holding this in the air. I'm actually holding it against my belly while I turn the handle. And there you can see, we had about 1.6 amps, which is what it said you should expect at 15 volts. So now we're gonna put it to three volts all the way down and measure the uh, current. And uh, I don't know why I get short bursts where it's easy. Okay, there we go. So about 1.5 amps, it got pretty easy. So I think that may actually be the limit. I don't know. So in any case, we have that. Let's try, these are just spring loaded and I had to kind of twist the wire because it is stranded but uh, there we go that went in not too bad and these do hold pretty good but I'm gonna tug with some decent force and it popped out so again it's stranded so if I don't twist it it's gonna run into the uh, edges right there there we go but yeah it went in pretty good and once you release it it holds you know somewhat decently so stuff doesn't just fly right out so we are at the uh, 3 uh, volt right now but we moved it over to this setting it's all written and it looks like Chinese and when I turn it the crank actually that's current I want to go to voltage so first we will pull the uh, plug out of there and move the meter to voltage there we go set to voltage and I don't want to yank everything off of the space there. Now you can see it's like 20, 
it looks like the voltage changes depending on exactly how I am turning it. So that is when it was at 3 volts. We're going to go to 15 volts and the uh, clip fell off. So I'll put the uh, clip on. And you can see the same thing. So for a second there I thought it was damaged and maybe it shouldn't be this way. But all you see is uh, Chinese writing there and I think you would see numbers again. So it's probably, I guess, telling you you're getting whatever you crank out of it. That's uh, my guess. So in any case, it also has the USB. And I have a USB plug that has alligator clips on the other end. So there's a USB plug and there's the alligator clips. And we will see. I It does tell you on there, I think, that the when you when you buy it from Amazon I think they do warn you that the USB voltage is the voltage you set not an automatic uh, 5 volts that you normally get with USB there you go oh, I missed the clip so we have the uh, voltage there and it's the USB those two wires are just floating what do I got I got 15 up there right now so let's turn it and there you can see it's holding a steady 15 volts so you want it at 5 volts and it's probably a good idea whenever you leave it laying around a while leave it at 5 volts I think it's 5 volts right there there we go a little more than 5 volts and so the USB is the voltage that you set but I actually don't mind because as I just showed you I don't just have USB cables I actually have some USB cables with alligator clips on them and I like the USB plug more than these but as you can see I can put uh, thicker wire in there and stuff so maybe I will use those at uh, some point but uh, that may be a bad thing for a lot of people where the USB does not just output 5 volts but for me I actually I actually like it but I would still keep it at 5 volts when I'm not using these and I might plug something right into the USB and start cranking Another thing is that phones can be damaged by bad power supplies. And so, as we just said, there's issues with the hand crank one. A lot of phones, they get really careful if they don't trust what is charging them. So, I think it's best to use this to charge a portable uh, power bank if you're going to use hand crank energy. So, charge up the portable power bank, and then you can use a portable power bank to charge your phone. That's just one tip I've uh, kind of learned over time studying this stuff. So, in any case, pretty straightforward. Crank it and uh, electricity comes out. We saw at 15 volts we could get almost 2 amps. And I don't know what happened at the uh, lower voltage region. And uh, so maybe that is a problem. Maybe it isn't. But uh, for me, I'm really happy with this uh, unit for $30. There's a lot of hand crank generators for the same price that doesn't have this other stuff included with it so probably price wise right now I'm thinking this is probably about the best you can do at least from what I found so of course I always investigate I'll try to put the link in the description and I'm a Amazon affiliate so if you use my links before you buy something then if the purchase is qualifying I'll get a small percentage of that purchase at no extra cost to you so Make sure you check out those links if you want to support me a little bit more and you buy from Amazon anyways. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.